Hello, put... Wasn't the Oscars on Monday? <laughs> okay, well, either way... Whoa. Um, I'm, uh, I watched a bit of it after finishing our conversation. And after you left, I stayed online with CB for a while on uh, Blog TV. And then psh, off I went to fold my laundry and actually watch some of the Oscars, go to bed and finish watching the Oscars until Tom Hanks suddenly came out and just said, best picture is blah. And then click, closed the TV and went to bed. Funny thing is that Mitch bought me a copy of The Hurt Locker <laughs> before the Oscars came out. I think it was Friday or Saturday that we went out and he decided to go purchase movies at, uh, at uh, Blockbuster. And there was a two for uh, three uh, DVD, two for two DVDs uh, so that you had to pay, and you got one free. So he said it's yours. It didn't cost me anything. I said what? Why? He said because it's a freaking awesome movie, and you're going to watch it. I said okay. Well, I started watching it, and I now know why they they actually won so many awards over Avatar and other movies that were actually being pre presented. Uh, Avatar, truth be told, Avatar is not that bad of a movie. I actually enjoyed it, and I recommend anyone who wants to see it when it comes out on DVD to watch it. Um, because it offers uh, a different experience. Uh, yes, okay, James Cameron might be a genius. He's a Canadian. Uh, that means nothing. Um, being a genius also means nothing, because Van Gogh was a painting genius, and he decided to chop off his ear. Okay, well, unfortunately, genius borders on insanity. And we can just be thankful that James Cameron hasn't been that much of a genius, otherwise he'd gone insane. That said, your plant looks nice. She's just a plant with her baby leaves. <laughs> I know that's bad. And as for the banana song, I thought you meant Isto's banana song. But I'm going to go check out the banana song that you linked to go see actually what it refers to. to. And I'm happy that you're uh, you're walking, but it's true when we do need to wake up when we uh, when we're forced to, we we don't really have a choice. It's always difficult, regardless. So that said, Dan, have a nice one.